Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone. Welcome back to Prayers of the Pious. Sufyan ibn Uyayna rahimahullah was the uh, great student of Sufyan Athawri. May Allah have mercy on him. And Sufyan ibn Uyayna teaches us a beautiful dua that matches some of the uh, supplications for sincerity. And one of the things that I noticed as I was preparing for the series and going through the books is that most of the supplications of the pious predecessors were for sincerity, which shows you where their priorities were. But each one of them gives us something different. So one person asks Allah to excuse the disgrace in private because they of the good that they do in public. One person asks Allah to uh, to make them better than what people assume and forgive them from what they don't know. There are different ways that the Salaf, the pious predecessors, used to verbalize us in their du'a. Sufyan ibn Uyayna rahimahullah, he says, Allahumma sturna bi sitrik al jamil. Oh Allah, uh, veil us with your beautiful veil. وَجْعَلْ تَحْتَ السِّطْرَ مَا تَرْضَى بِهِ عَنَّا وَجْعَلْ تَحْتَ السِّطْرَ مَا تَرْضَى بِهِ عَنَّا And place beneath that beautiful veil what will please us or what will please you from us. So once again, O oh Allah, veil us with your beautiful veil and place beneath that veil what will please you from us. What makes this dua so beautiful is that you're not just asking Allah to not make you a hypocrite and to not allow your private disgrace to ruin your public good or to not allow that discrepancy to grow to a point that it renders you a hypocrite. But you're actually asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have some good deeds that are so beautiful that even the veil doesn't do it justice, right? And that's what Fulayl ibn Ayyad rahimahullah said that the pious predecessors used to hide their good deeds with the same vigilance that they hid their sins that they were as protective of their good deeds as they were of their sins. When you get to that point where your good deeds become so precious between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that you feel that if someone is gazing into that private devotion between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that they're almost intruding on a beautiful relationship, that's when you know that you are uh, attaining a level of ihsan, a level of excellence, that you're starting to enjoy private whispers between you and Allah, private uh, deeds of devotion that you wouldn't even want your spouse to know because it's too sacred and it cheapens it when other people lay their eyes on it. So you save the best for that which no one else sees but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So again, the supplication, Allahumma sturna bi sitrik al jameel. O oh Allah, beautify us, or, or I'm sorry, O oh Allah, veil us with your beautiful veil. Waj'al tahta sitr ma tarda bihi anna and place beneath that veil what will please you from us. Allahumma ameen. Jazakum Allah khayran. See you all next time, inshaAllah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.